<laughs> Sorry. Raphael. I mean, honestly. We can do this. Come on, Raphael. Keep it down. We're back here with Fire Emblem Three Houses, The Verdant Wind, Assassins Only Run. Last time we barely managed to scrape by losing most of our limbs in the process through um, the Xanado mission. A lot of our friends are still in rather low level. We've got a few up to two and three. Marianne and Lysithia, of course, still down at level one. The real trick of that being that um, the longer it takes for you to class up, the less levels you're getting while classed up, which is difficult. <laughs> Be or uh, no obnoxious because uh, being getting the the, the 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 classes enhance your growths. Although I suppose at some point, whenever you get to the point where you're going to be able to class up, you'll only have gotten five levels at that point anyway. So it's not like you'll be leveling tons and tons uh, with the bad growths as a starting class. But never even mind it because since when has it been called the Red Canyon? Hmm. hmm. I wonder why it is that you recall this place. <laughs> You must be <laughs> Each time I speak, it scares you so. Yeah, well, forgive me. I nearly lost my life in a battle just then. I'm sorry. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. I don't. That's why you scared me. <laughs> well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're having a good time. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Have you been here before, Sothis? Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. We both seem to remember it somewhat weirdly and in a distant kind of way. <laughs> I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. Well, that's weird. We should return to the monastery now and, and lick yet, our wounds. A great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow. Pain and love, and all things in between. Interesting. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Probably something joyous, sorrowful, painful, and... ...loving. Teach, what are you doing here? We should get back to the academy. You're absolutely right. I was just saying that to myself, <laughs> and to no one else. It's time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Well, what a menacing way to, oh, to by the way, add, seems you've add to my confidence. Gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. It seems you've earned my gratitude. You're welcome. Why are you grateful? I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. Works for me, because I've been mostly apologizing to you since we met. You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Well, I don't know what else to say other than I'm sorry. Speak quieter. <laughs> oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. I don't know that I've said that. Hey, teach. I'm definitely scared I'm every time you, you speak. Seem transfixed by the canyon. Yeah, it was a pretty weird place, wasn't it? Did something happen there? Uh, good question. Actually. <laughs> It seemed familiar to you? It seemed familiar to me. Huh. can't say the same. Maybe it's a memory from when you were a child. Or from a past life. Anyway, if you can't remember, I guess there isn't really much more to be said. Sorry. Although, I'll admit, there is something about that canyon that has me captivated as well. Was it all the ruins? How did Xanado come to be called the Red Canyon? Oh, that I couldn't say. Nothing there was actually red. I forgot if they named it. Did they name it that after all the stuff went so down there? Or was it, was it just because there used to be, like, red sand there? Because I, I kind of had that idea somehow. Salvation. Yeah, let's hope. Probably would have been able to find easier salvation if we had not killed them, but... I'm not the Archbishop. I don't know the rules. Because they looked rich. Until we know more. I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. <laughs> So which, which, which worries are necessary that you would like me to tell them to hang on to? I will do all that I can. Good. I have high expectations for you. Cool. By the way, Pressure. How was your time in Xanadu? Nostalgic Legend and weird. In ancient times, 
A goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. <laughs> a goddess? I thought we were monotheists around this part, around these parts. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. A goddess. Long ago. Yeah, that's kind of red there, doesn't it? Received a revelation from the goddess, a gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlin from her kingdom above. Or kingdom within, depending on how you <laughs> look at it. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. Sorry, I know this is uh, one that we would have seen in our Azure Moon one, but I don't remember it very well, so I'm sticking around she with this is one. She the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Plus, I'm not sure if Claude comes in later or something. I didn't know. I see. During your time here... I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Saros. Well, what a strong feeling. <laughs> Maybe uh, we let me decide that. Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. <laughs> yes, I understand what you meant. A goddess? I have no memory of her. Now this I'm very confident okay. is the same, though. I have no memory at all. Yes, that is very weird. Bye! Alrighty, so we should finally be able to get back to the monastery now. Um, and uh, do you get a teaching day before the first free day? I don't think so, which is a shame, because I really would, I could, I could really use a, uh, a day to bump everyone's skills. Well, we've all got to be close to D in sword now, right? I guess D and bow is kind of more pressing on account of the fact that curved shot is a very, very useful one. Rat strike is just nice to have. New places to explore in the monastery, hot swiggity diggity. Okay, no, we our, our first Friday does become come does come before Professor, the uh I have a new um, mission for your students. DJ Day. Do you received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Mutiny in the Mist. Got it, I remember this one. Hopefully Claude doesn't come in at any point during that and I just skipped his uh, dialogue. Hey Sylvain! So Happy birthday, my man, my man. My man with the plan? You have allies who can take beginner exams? That's me! Okay, yes. Um, right, no, we're not gonna be thief first. We're gonna be Myrmidon. Because you get, uh, so you can be Myrmidon, soldier, fighter, or monk. So basically, swords, lances, axe and bow, or axe, bow, and brawl, or, uh, magic. And, uh, more short form, speed, dex, or strength. Nevertheless, we all want Myrmidon before we head off to, uh, thief, so. Oh, I'll be taking that. What? What do you mean, use the sword to- Ah, oh, I get it. It all makes sense to me. Ba to tread. Sweet, and I already had a pretty solid speed, so it's not as though I was going to get a bump from that. Now, one thing I will just note is that um, I'm not against classing into um, a class that we're not going to use just to get the little uh, bump up that it gives you. Like, I think most of us, probably if we passed Armored Knight right now, would benefit from the, the little experience, uh, defense bump it would give you. But of course, that would take some uh, a fair bit of time learning heavy armor, which I'm not really willing to do at the moment. But nevertheless, Claude and I have now passed our Myrmidon exam. I did pretty well. I'd say you did, which is excellent. And you only need D for it, so I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be ready by the time that we get that far. Uh, you got E+, plus, E+, plus, D, E+, plus, D, uh... Yeah, everyone's really close to having D, so they'll all be able to do Myrmidon really easily. We've got some supports to do, I just want to mess with our abilities a bit and make sure I didn't uh, leave anything for useful, because um, health plus five a few of us got, and we're going to want to keep that high priority, I think, for the moment. I still don't even have E plus in, in bow. Alright, I bet we have a few supports after all that, because, uh, well, everyone was fighting together. Uh, Claude and Hilda! Classic, let's see it! Huh? Are you actually reading, Hilda? I thought you hated studying. You know, she reading and studying are just the same thing. Brother. He sends them all the time. Your brother, huh? Isn't he known as a great general of the Alliance? Even start. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh-oh. Better not let your brother hear you say that. It would break his fraternal heart. But all joking aside, it sounds like he really cares for Why you. would hearing that it has nothing to do with her? Well, I guess because he, he probably expects big things of her as well. You can say that again. He must be rather bored, too, now that the situation in Elmira has settled down. Ah, the Elmirans, the Eastern Menace, as they're often called. I did hear your brother had fought them a number of times. In fact, I hear he's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadir, the great Elmiran warrior. And he's still breathing, impressive. Nadir, the undefeated, was it? Just another grizzled old man, as far as I'm concerned. Well, this is Fire Emblem, those are all over the place. 
father was ecstatic when he heard my brother had defeated him. He paraded defeated my him. brother all over our territory. What a pain that must have been for our people. <laughs> a pain? Any celebration is something to But be they were annoyed that to look at his stupid face. Smiles on faces faster than anything. I'm sure even you at least congratulated him, right? A smile from you would surely mean the world to your brother. Well, sure. Then he got all worked up and started saying things like, I am the protector of Bodeland. So I never smiled at him again. That's not far from the truth, you know. Why do you think the Myrons have been so quiet lately? They're wary of your brother. If House Goneril of the Border were a bunch of weaklings, the Almirans would have invaded Fodlan a long time ago. <laughs> you talked They'd have about enjoyed it, it too. You've spoken to the Almirans yourself. Well, I am heir to the leading house of the Alliance. I'm privy to all kinds of information, whether I like it or not. <laughs> you act so nonchalant about your studies, but you know so much about politics and history. You're a hard guy to grasp, you know that, Claude? Oh, I disagree. I'd let you grasp me any day. My hand, my heart, even my neck. But if you want to know all of my secrets, <laughs> you'll have to bear yours as well. I mean, that's a famous line from this game, obviously. But it just, it floors me that Hilda has no reaction whatsoever to that. <laughs> that's just where the conversation ends. He's like, maybe you'll have to choke it out of me. Anyway, uh, I'll see you Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> we have algebra together. <laughs> that's so weird now that I think about it, that she doesn't say anything back. I Actually, I guess I have to assume that he then walks away and she's just like, what? <laughs> like in stunned silence <laughs> as he leaves. Lysithia, do you have a moment? There is a matter of significance I'd like to discuss I with you. I can't imagine it's anything good. I honestly don't remember a lot of these, but Lauren's and a matter of significance, I, I dislike the direction this is headed. I know you're always seeking the attention of ladies, but why are you wasting your breath on me? Period. Don't be silly. I want to discuss the future of the Alliance. Oh, to have a constructive ouch. and candid exchange of opinion. Don't be silly. I would never be interested in you. I'm not so sure I'm the one being silly. Actually, I'm busy. Stuff to do. Now, hold on just a moment. House Ordelia will never benefit from such a narrow-minded mentality. I was under the impression you were interested in me as a person. What do house matters have to do with anything? Well, he was discussing something about the future of the Alliance. A exchange of opinion. As it stands, the bonds between Alliance Lords are quite weak. If this state of affairs persists, I'm afraid those bonds may dissolve entirely. I couldn't care less. House Ordelia may be small, but a small house is fettered by fewer obligations than a larger one. A is actively in diplomacy. Negotiate wisely, and you could do much to help maintain peace among the neighboring lords. Why do I do that when I have lower obligations? The recognition of those lords fit your house immensely to that end why not start with me the heir to house gloucester it couldn't hurt for us <laughs> to become damn. friends could it i think he has his again like i think he's he's <laughs> he's trying to be nice here <laughs> but <laughs> that really basically sounded like he was just like <laughs> you know i'm more important than you right so you really should be kissing up to me yes yes of course when the time comes but right now i'm quite busy maybe later as it is, I'm studying magic for the benefit of the Alliance, and I would appreciate it if you left me to it. Ah, I see. Then forgive the intrusion. I will take my leave now, but if there is any way I can be of help to you or your house, I hope that you won't hesitate to ask. After all, as I'm sure you know, the future of the Alliance is my responsibility. As a more important house than you. <laughs> the future, he says. <laughs> as though I have a future. Bida 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 boo. <laughs> Great, we're all in good spirits then. Awesome. My favorite. Time to explore. Where have we got our goal set to? This all seems right still, I think. Probably. Um you or both of those are probably Now that you're Myrmidon, especially you're gonna be you get a bonus to sword, so I think it's probably fine that we bring them back to neutral. And you uh well you're already at D so yeah, I do that. They're matched right now, and you have a strength for both of them. So I say keep going with that. That works for me. <laughs> Lawrence, man. You know what? It's... So far, he hasn't been quite as grating as I recall, but... Man, sometimes he just really says the absolute worst thing that someone could possibly... Like, the least... The things someone wants to hear the least at that any given moment. Ooh! This quest we get from Yuritsa is the is the battalions, right? Hi, Sothis. You're no longer in my skull, but floating around my room. Isn't that fun? time in here engaging in such idle chatter in here what in this room engaging in idle chatter so you're angry at me for talking to you do you not know that 
we have not a moment left to waste? I should have listened more intently. You must try harder from now on. All right. What do you mean we have not a moment left to waste, by the way? <laughs> We've got a quest at the end of this month. Relax. So this... Manage your time. Manage your mental health. I guess that's pretty rich coming from <laughs> me, who has a little goblin living in my soul, but whatever. Hi. Hi. Doing? Hendron map. Oh, yes, this is when all the lost items become floating around, which will be very useful in getting our supports up with everyone so that we can uh, recruit them. But nevertheless, top fishing spots. A list of the places where fish are most likely to gather in a fishing pond. Someone put a lot of thought into this. Well, good for someone. And that's a professor level up for us. Yeah. Shame it didn't happen before. We would have had three for this day, but that's all right. We'll have it for the la the next one we do later. There are so many battle formations. I know you can go like three in a row or in the little arrow or that's it basically. A rebellion. Oh, this is a DLC quest. Oh, it's Claude. I didn't even recognize him at first. Hey, Claude. First that bandit business and now a noble rebellion? Are we ever going to do anything but find and subdue people? Well, if we're just going to tie up loose ends, at least it'll be pretty safe. I don't mind stretching my legs for this one. Hmm. You got a good point. <laughs> Are our missions ever going to be like, go over here and treat with these people? Or is it always just going to be like, <laughs> the students are, are the muscle? And if Catherine's going too, there's a good chance we'll get a look at her relic in action. Well, no, we're supposed to, there's supposed to be no trouble, Claude. Can I ask you a favor? Hey, have you heard of Abyss? I was absolutely not eavesdropping on someone else when I heard the name, and I have to believe there's an interesting story there. Have you got some time to look into it, Professor? Investigate the stories about Abyss. Maybe the traveling merchants who come and go know something about the place. Um, I know something about the place. <laughs> I've been there. But sure, I'm fine with this, and I get some um, um, Myron pine needles for this. And renown. And I don't mind that. Not a lick. I'm sure I'll be gathering that information as we travel around. Someone's in the Beagle's classroom. I guess it'll be Edelgard. Nope, it's Ferdy. Goodness. A disgrace! <laughs> They forgot to carry the one. I heard about your class's assignment, by the way. Good luck subduing those treasonous notes. I'll do my best. All right, you can call people on for mission assistance, uh, for which, at which, during which time they can gain supports with you. I don't really like to do it because usually what the end result is that because they don't gain experience, so you're just you're just stealing experience from your own party, basically. The only real benefit I find is is for building supports. I'm studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? I think you're there already, man. You're kind of outshining me a little. You gotta rein it back. Well, that depends on how hard you work. I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here. I can tell you that. I... As a teacher, I... Officially, I'm not allowed to make comment after you've said it like that. But go you. Who's hanging around the training grounds? Oh, Catherine is. Catherine is. You really are as hardworking as. I'm not guy. here to train. I'm here to chat. I'm the opposite of everything you think about me. That's an overstatement. I'm just me. Spoken like a true hard worker. Uh, you say it with such disdain. Thunder Catherine. Hmm. I think that's a stupid name. Catherine. Hmm. Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her soul, but oh, I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. Well, that would include me. I don't. I don't know much about her past, to be blunt with you. You should spar with her. She's strong, stronger than you are, I bet. Well, why don't you spar with her if you're so damn eager? I don't want to lose a head. I've only got the one. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Arrogance. Plot reasons? Don't overthink it, Hubert. Goddamn. Lord Monato must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Fun chat, you two. You guys really don't understand the meaning of downtime, do you? Can we do anything but talk about the murders we're going to have to do in like a month? Sorry, excuse me. I was storming out in a huff. You can see why I had to brush past you, so. Let's head to the second floor first. I never do that. Hey, Mamala. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. Are you not privy to the mission that I have to undertake, or were you just, like, hungover for the meeting when we discussed it? Kingdom I guess they discussed it in private the to me. Alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Bit too much for my tastes. Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? I think they just want to level up. Which so I can identify with that. To do me a favor? Sure. It's extremely important that professors tend to their own studies as well. If you agree, I'd be more than happy to share my knowledge. I would very much appreciate it if you share your knowledge with me because I am unknowledgeable. 
Except uh, setting this quest will spend activity points. Yes, but I want to unlock the uh, faculty training anyway because you don't you don't get to back out of this now. So I have to learn one of these. Um, I suppose it might as well be sword. Well, I suppose no. I guess I could uh, get a head start on flying for anyone who wants flying to be recruited by me. Probably there are more people who want faith than flying, though, so I'll just take some E plus here. I simply must or not. Thank you, Professor. No problem. It's fun to learn like this, even as adults. How about we get others to join up as well? I'm sure they'll be elated to participate. Well, I don't know that I really taught you any particular skills, but uh, yes, it was good fun. Unfortunately, that means I've only got the one uh, point left, and I might want to use it on meals. We'll see, we'll see. Let's catch up a sigil for someone interested in crests. Golly. It's probably either Hanneman or uh, uh, Linhart's, but I can't imagine why Linhart would have been up here. Well, I guess he goes around to the library, but... No, the library's the other way. No, you have to go past there to... Anyway. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family, Kristoff. Yes, operative word was. I have a request. Hey, it seems I've lost something. Well, you have a minute. Can you help me look for it? Absolutely, I can. I will. I will look in your quarters for your thing that you have lost, my dear Papa, and I will return it to you on the minute. I almost said the morrow, but that would be a very long time for you to go without your precious wooden flask. Dad, gotta lay out the booze, pal. Thanks for your help. That was helpful. Feels good, doesn't it? If you come across any more light lost items, be sure to find their owner right away. Thank you for teaching me good lessons, Papa. But that also unlocks gift, right? Yes. So now we can sway the feelings of all the people in any house. It becomes much, much easier to recruit them if you've got at least one level of support with them. So I should probably get uh, get on giving Petra some gifts as early as possible because I want to use her in our main party. Hello there, Tomas. This is the book. Hello there, Tomas. I heard that you may battle alongside Catherine. Again, we're not supposed to go there to fight. It's supposed to be pretty chill. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Meaning what precisely? Meaning never mind. Meaning <laughs> that's that's one of those fun things that I get to find out for myself. I think he just means loud. <laughs> she can be a bit loud. That's fine. There are plenty of people in our house who are like that. Raphael, for instance. And he's lovely. All they ever do is cause trouble. We'd best purge the entire underbelly of Garrett Mock. No comment. Big not so low. I did not realize you were allowed in the audience this chamber. This place has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. It's pretty cool, ain't it? Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. So long as they're of the prevailing faith. Do you like art? Oh, yes, very much. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Is any of this yours? This is this will be Leone's, this will be Raphael's. Uh, I think this is either Catherine's or Caspar's. And this will be Linhart's or Hanneman's. Uh, right, so none of those are yours. Sorry, thanks for picking through that with me, Ignatz. Setith and or Rhea, whoever is here. Rhea! Hello, punishing sinners. Pointing a sword at the Holy Church. Eros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. And we love the goddess around here, so we wouldn't take kindly if someone were to dislike her. That would be punishable by death. Meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. What a jolly stance. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. I understand that that is your opinion. I'm gonna not. I was thinking I want a faith at least to E+, because getting the, the skill tier will help us. Oh, or reason, perhaps. I think we'll want to think about it a little bit more. I could also just bump my sword early on for, for some a leg up there. I haven't got a weakness in anything, have I? I don't think so. Nay, but I have a special strength with uh, sword, brawling, and authority. Professor. Hi. There's a quest in the reception hall. What a delight. And there's also someone right here. Dorothea! Are you going to fight alongside the Knights of Saros? There's not supposed to be any fighting! Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? Among the Knights? I think they'll be a little old for you. No offense. <laughs> Yoink. It seems like something Claude would own. I love how sometimes they're coy and give you a, like, a hint, and then sometimes they're just like, This is probably Claude's! <laughs> Mostly for the house leaders, they're that way. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. 
They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. This is what Ash tells me. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Had a new marching song you wanted to try out? I don't know. Ask him but yourself. <laughs> you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was editing. A ghost might be up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. Are these the same people who told you that Lenardo was a kind and gentle lord? Because maybe, <laughs> maybe you want to question your sources. I have a favor to ask of you. Oh dear, oh man, my voice is not prepared for this. Those who struggle with private concerns will sometimes visit the cathedral for guidance. If you have the time, why not offer your keen insight, Professor? That sounds like a great idea, Mercedes. And might I say your voice is it's lovely today. Why, thank you, smartass. To be honest, I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. At a loss for what to do. With respect to classes? Thankfully, a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she's Sedith's little sister. Lost? Uh, how so? Dear me! Do we have a guidance counselor in this joint? I guess that's me, isn't it? Because I've got the advice box. <laughs> um, come visit my... I don't have an office. Come visit my dorm at some point. <laughs> we'll talk about your failings if you want. Hey, professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Yeah, he was threatening me around the training grounds. I saw him at the training ground. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. No problemo, Palio. I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. That's no small doing. He already had status and prestige. So, why raise a rebellion? Eh, I guess it's none of my business. I mean, as, as one of the knights going to, like, confront him, isn't it kind of your business? <laughs> Well, I guess not as you're like a foot soldier or whatever. It's just not altogether your business, but I'd be concerned about it anyway. Oh, there's another DLC quest down there. Unless that's where I'm getting... No, that's Anna, so that's got to be a different DLC quest. I don't suppose we'll be getting information. Oh, I got, I got to go to Abyss as well to, uh, this monastery day. Have you talked with Catherine yet? Yes. <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Does that make me the cream of the corn? Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. It's pretty wicked, probably, uh, I say, with no evidence, obviously. Yellow. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. Well, I, I only have one of this outfit, okay? <laughs> I can't be expected to wash it in between battles. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. Really? Not even happy? <coughs> I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. <laughs> Who needs to wash your clothes when they get dirty? Just don't get them dirty. You're a funny little bird, Hilda. <laughs> no. Sure she is. Okay, maybe that was a slightly objectionable way to phrase it. I, I rescind that. A fish. Wow. And a snail. Wow. And a leaf. Wow. Ugh, I'm sorry. I just have to rattle everything off that I say to find on the ground, don't I? Abyss? You're interested in that place, are you? Oh, this is part of the Abyss quest. Ancient sprawling remains deep below Garrick Mach. That's Abyss. Oh, that's where I was. <laughs> home there. Obviously, they all have their reasons and tales to tell. But only the most enterprising merchant would venture near it. My advice? Avoid going there yourself. Too late, my friend. Uh, recruit. What is the, what are the requirements for that? Fancy meeting you here. I've got a business. Uh, I mean, I've got something I want to chat with you about. I want your free loot that you get as a recruit, so this works out great. I know you're busy with a lot of things, but I was wondering if I might be able to join you. Heck, I won't even charge you for my aid. What say you? It's a killer deal. It's a suspicious deal. I don't know. What do you get out of this? If not money. Thank you. Now I'll have plenty of time to get to know my clients. Ah, now you'll be able to more oh, accurately to the inner of stock up your store for us. I see. With. Helps with the making of the monies, you know. Ah, that tracks. That tracks. Works for me. And I gained an abyss information. I'll just stuff that in my pocket. Information about, uh, from, about the abyss from Anna. It seems to be a dangerous place that regular folks tend to avoid. There you go, Claude. Does that not sate your curiosity? Crap, she's level five. Well, I'll be taking all that, thanks. Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, that means we'll be passing through Magdred Way. Ah, uh, beauty eye here. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. So... What time of year is it usually foggy? 
Not this time of year, right? Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Oh, good. Not that we'll have time for a sightseeing, anyway. I guess not. It's not as though it'll all happen one day. You don't like that cabbage from the apple patch? We'll surely have a moment to rest, anyway. Town is so busy this month. Yeah, there are three whole NPCs. Well, I guess there are other, more NPCs, but three whole talkable NPCs. And speaking of talkable NPCs, Yuritsa has the battalion quest for us. Mm. Hey, pal. I desired fresh air. The wind feels nice. Hmm. Good to see you disagree. I have a favor to ask. There is solitude on the battlefield, but there are limits to what one can achieve alone. To be stronger, more efficient. Visit the Battalion Guild. Okay. Stronger and more efficient are my two main goals in life. But really, thank you so much. Being able to do replenish battalions and all will be a godsend. Uh, what I really want to do is buy one for each of us. We don't have anyone who's like better without a battalion, right? I don't think so. So you've got the Church of Sarah's soldiers. Um, see if I can buy you anything defensive. This probably is defensive. It's going to get for the moment. Holy monks with stride. Now that's going to be great. Um, who is uh, so? What does that do to your stats? Um, it lowers your physical attack by one. Which I mean, honestly, you probably can't really stand. If I'm going to do it to anyone, it's probably going to be Lysithia because she has the lowest strength at the moment. Uh, but having her get the stride one. Well, it's temporary anyway. We can always move it around. Thank you. Naturally, we don't have really have enough money to get everyone one at the moment, but um, I think we should probably do it as many as we can. I'd like to give you one that bumps your physical attack, but not at the expense of your magic attack. I don't often get much use out of these three, these sideways ones, but um, I probably should have at least one person with them. Maybe Ignatz? They give you a bump to physical attack and avoidance, so that's kind of cool. Oh, that's the wrong one. Whoops, it's these, these ones that I was thinking of. They give you a bunch of extra crit. That's cool, actually. But extra dodge and extra crit for uh, Ignatz, I dig. Thank you. We could buy one more at the moment if we wanted. Probably would bet want one for Lawrence because you get this that little, that little nudge up he gets. I don't think we're gonna do any magic with him, so I guess may as well do Saras Mercenaries. Might of eight on the uh, gambit. Bumps your charisma a bit and physical attack and sure, to do that. Got you Cheers. We'll see how much money we have at the end of all the quests and all today, but we'll start Thank with that. You. you went to the battalion guild. Try how your battalion and those of others are faring. Although, solitude is the true battle. Always a joy, Yuritsa. At the battalion guild. Thanks, Claude. I did in fact know how they work. And I can also turn in uh, that intel that we got from Anna to him. Which, I mean, it was just that it's a dangerous place, basically. Some uncommon fish out there today. Ooh, you don't say. Hey, Raphael. Hey, Professor. Do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. I'm not sure I do. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. Probably a good sign. Um, how do you feel about eating a book? Sorry, no can do, I don't think. But you would like the training weight, wouldn't you? Well, I better give it to someone who's out of our party no. to raise bonds with them. Hey, Hiya, Petra. This flower is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. They don't have those where you're from? Fly traps? I don't know who watches over the plants in Fodlin. Uh, she's into horseback riding, isn't she? I think so. You have my thanks. She's tolerates it anyway. Um, enjoys studying government. I don't know that she especially enjoys it. Weapon maintenance? You have my thanks. She seems to tolerate these. Weight training. You have my thanks. Okay, she did, I'm, I feel like I'm fighting an uphill battle here. I'll, I'll have, just, I'll have... We'll work something out later. I did just remember, however, that uh, I did not give you back your button. Oh, hey! I can't believe I dropped this. There you go. Thanks for bringing it to me. No problem, Palio. I didn't realize that raised their motivation. That's awesome. Who else is in the greenhouse? Oh, Flane's here. Hello. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a botany professor. I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Mm-hmm. Like the ones in my room. My room, which is a cold, dry, barren wasteland. There are still some flowers growing in the corners, I'm pretty sure. Is this Bernie Bear hiding in her room? Hello, my friend. Huh? Um, is someone there? No! What do you want? Uh, just to give you this bear stuff, hang on, I'll stuff it under the door. <laughs> Bit of stuffing might have come out, but here you go. Oh, thank you so much. No problem, my friend. 
You deserve that. Uh, make good use of it. That's... You better be up at S rank and plushy wielding next time I see you. Animan! I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. I, well, that works for me. familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? Here and there, someone said they wouldn't go into a room earlier. A night, I was informed. That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Uh, unknown to you or unknown to the both of you? Like you asked her and she was like, I don't know what it is. What's this orange stuff here? <laughs> Butter chicken sauce, maybe? <laughs> Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three second rule. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I love his delivery on that line. <laughs> Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor. <laughs> three second rule. <laughs> this is perfect. Claude, um, I hear the abyss is scary and we should never ever go there. Not even in our wildest DLC dreams. Yes, that was a big help. Abyss, a dangerous area below Garrick Mach that folks tend to avoid. I can't believe such a place has existed right under our noses. Maybe one day I can help the whole story see the light of day. Maybe one day. Hmm. But I mean, we've only been here a few months. I think I don't think it should be that surprised you haven't heard of it. I've been looking everywhere. Thanks a million. You got it. Ooh, I've got support with someone. Claude, naturally. I bet Claude would enjoy studying government, but probably there are other people out of our house who would, who I ought to interface with first. Oh, uh, let's just return in all these items, shall we? So we got to uh, track down Leone. Let's go back to the train grounds and find Catherine. And then um, I didn't even try giving Hanneman the thing. But if it's a sketch, it probably would be slightly more uh, Theater train? Uh, official if it was Hanneman. So it's probably Linhart's. Uh, this is yours, yeah? Not mine. Never mind. Caspar's then. Where are Caspar, Linhart, and uh, who was the other one? Leone. Well, Linhart's in the dining hall. Oh, they're both in the dining hall. Caspar and Linhart. What's this? Bah! In the school sorcerer book, we gotta give that to Annette in a minute. Ah, uh, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. I mean, you might. When you're busy, there's no alternative. Absolutely. I knew you'd see things my way. You see, if I just bend flip floppy and, and sit on the fence the whole time, everyone likes me. Uh, no, not this mission. Oh man, my heart sank when I did that because I haven't saved in a bit. This is yours, yeah? That's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. What would you do without your overcoat? You only have like six different school uniforms to wear, and whatever armor you wear. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Caspar's eating habits. No need, he already did. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. That sounds dangerous. He shouldn't do that. You must have a healthy appetite. If that is a polite way of calling him a goat, I'm inclined to agree. Do goats, are they known for eating a lot? I guess so. Most grazing animals would be, I guess, because they have a lot of food around them. <laughs> this is yours, yeah? That's not mine. Bugger. I guess it was Hanneman's. That's convenient. He's right here anyway. I guess it was a sketch he's doing in his research. I left this behind. Well, thank you so much for retrieving it. You got it, pal. And he was really shook to, to, to have left that behind him. And he was like, I can't. How could this have me dropping something unheard of? And the balls is Leone anyway. My dense? Where's. Oh. Right, right, she was looking over at the balcony. This is yours, yeah. Oh, that's mine. Thanks so much for finding it. You got a partner. Anytime. I suppose there's some sense to if you wanted to raise their motivation, you could you could have I could she could be one of the people I teach the next time we teach, and then I could I could save the lost item for the next monastery day and give it back to her to give her motivation back to full. But that's kinda tedious. I mean and you get gifts soon enough, that'll be fine. Oh, you know what I just remembered is that there's a sauna feature in the DLC which I've never Professor. interfaced with because it's my first time using all the DLC features. I don't remember what it does, it gives you like a temporary stat buff or something like that, but like I say, I've never used it, so that's that. And then I just spoke to in the reception hall, and uh, she is someone who's graduated from the School of Sorcery. I remember this being in the base game, so it won't be Constance's. Here you go. I thought it was gone for good. How did you know it was mine? Listen. I I was not dimension hopping. You take that back. And that's just about all the time we have for today, actually. So we'll be doing the rest of talking to everyone. We haven't got too many people more to talk to. We've got a few quests to undertake yet. Some more monastery stuff to do. Only the one activity point to spend. Ooh, shiny. Ah, it's over where Claude's support is, and I don't want to do that one just yet. But I'll just plant myself an abyss uh, at this point so that I, I remember to talk to everyone here next time. But that's good. So we've got our next mission, which is to head over to La Lord Leonardo's territory and ask him what in the hell is going on. And there's apparently an army there, and we're bringing the knights. 
who said they were going to back us up for that uh, venture down in Xanado, and I didn't see uh, one of them there, so what the hell is up with that? Chrysalis Row? Now Boetic. Burroughs Street. Why do they need to name the streets when there are, like, two... No, I guess the, it, it goes further beyond into the wall. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you think about Claude, huh? He's growing very well, isn't it? I can see his charisma is a bit better, but frankly, it still needs work. Well... Let me tell you, your charisma is nothing to write home about it. Her luck is a bit better. How does that come about? I don't remember her charisma being blue before. Was it? Has she always had good health, speed, and charisma? Wait. Now let me see. Your guidance is lacking. Hang on a minute. These weren't how these all were before, right? Oh, maybe it was. She definitely had the red in 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 defense. Some of those grows look a little different. I don't remember her having speed or charisma. Lacking. I thought it was health and strength. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Now let me no, that was both of us I was looking at. No, it's okay. No, it's fine. I, 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 it's fine. Well. The teacher's being completely consistent. I'm the one who is losing my mind. So that'll be that for now. We have one more activity at this point to spend. A few more people to talk to. A few quests to undertake. And I don't suppose we'll be able to finish, uh, well... Maybe next episode we'll be able to do the rest of the monastery stuff here, and then I'll just sort of be quiet during the training battles so we can just grind up our levels and uh, weapon skills a bit more. So it may be that uh, by the end of next episode we'll be at the 30th, and we'll be ready to seize Castle Gaspard. Seize the castle? <laughs> Youch. I'd like everyone to take careful note what it says here. We've been tasked with rear guard duty. If we are up front at any point during this, I'll be very upset. The children's lives. Think about the children. Consarn it. Lysithia is still level one. <laughs> Have you no pity? But that's all for now. So next video will go on the channels. Uh, I believe I'm going to finally, finally start Breath of the Wild's DLC. With all this talk of um, uh, Three Houses DLC that we're going on now. We uh, spent a long time last time getting all the rest of the shrines. So now we've got all the shrines, done all the four beasts, and we're, we're prepped and ready to start into um, Trial of the Sword, I think is the first one. No. Champion. No, yeah. Trial of the Sword is... I believe the first one, which I think it's, it's like a bunch of extra shrines, and there's some weird thing where you get like an axe that has a billion damage on it, but also it brings your health down to a quarter heart or something. We'll know next video going up to the channel. And after that will be some more Verdant Wind Assassins, so I'll be seeing you real soon. Maybe. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's going to be out of here now. Peace! <laughs> what if you do assume I did the homework? <laughs> nope. Wait, we had homework? What are your adjectives? You mean my pronouns? I already know your pronouns. What are your adjectives? Uh, I don't know. What are yours? Noisy and chaotic.